Uh, before I go into my next story, we've all seen uh, the movie Groundhog Day, haven't we? Because this is a story we keep returning to, Ed. This is the part of the show where we return to stories we previously reported on <laughs> that are continuing to evolve. Um, yeah. So how about this? How about this? Lori Lightweight, Lori Leprecock, Lori Thinskin, bitches and moans about Governor Abbott bussing all these migrants to Chicago. She's welcoming them with open arms, and then she buses them to Burr Ridge. Yeah, that's not great optics there. Um, it's not great optics, and she's literally like inviting. She's she's inviting people to just it completely. Uh, what's the word? Uh, just gut her politically, uh, and what the optics are, and how utterly tone deaf and 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 uh, disconnected well, she is with how that looks. Okay. Now there are there are some factors. You wanna, why she you want to play the her. video? I'll have. Yeah, a let me play the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's play the video first, so we can. Let's unwrap this with the video first. Immigrants. News Nation has learned about 30 families were moved to a hotel in the suburbs and that the suburbs didn't have any advanced warning. Now, Nick Smith is in Burr Ridge, Illinois, with more on that. Isn't that what Abbott did? I mean, if you were going to, if Mayor Lightfoot was going to bust them to Burr Ridge, if there was a reason and we're going to continue to get into the details, okay. She but she didn't, notify the, she didn't notify the mayor. It just yeah, happened. That's, I mean... What was she afraid of waking him up? I mean, <laughs> it's just, you know, it's, do as I say, say, not as I do. I mean, the whole point. I mean, it's like I know that mayor, the mayor of Burr Ridge, also probably. I think they they were on on record supporting uh, welcoming Im immigrants and stuff, but this would have been the opportunity for Lori to not do the same thing she always does and actually reach out and coordinate with other areas that she's going to be doing things like uh, sending a bus or two load of migrants to Burr Ridge to a hotel. May, did it, is it probably cheaper to, to house them there right now? Yeah. But talk to their mayor, let them know that's happening. Maybe that mayor can say, well, is there anything I can help you with? Is Communicate. There, communi it's just, she she just knows what the fuck she wants. The, the, the consequences or circumstances following be damned. That's her whole legislative. She doesn't, she didn't ask any of these aldermen downtown. And, you know, and this actually kind of speaks to Kathy's point, asking people first. Uh, she didn't have any of the, she didn't ask the alderman ahead of time before she decided to put NASCAR down there so that they could talk to their local constituents and local residents in that community is going to be impacted. She just does whatever the fuck she wants to do. And this is, I mean, this is everything. Uh, this speaks to everything that, um, that political story was kindly dancing around as far as her brusque management style. She's uh, she's a dictator. She's, she's uh, Rom 2.0. Two inches shorter. And right, let's just, go ahead. Yeah, and it just it just sets up this dynamic where everyone who opposes her is now going to stoke this anti-immigrant stuff just because they 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 want to complain about about uh, you know irresponsible mayors uh, shuffling uh, shuffling people around. We're going to steal your gerbs. No, they're not. Oh, no. oh, 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 here he is. Internet troubles be damned. Hello, Kit. Hello, I prayed to the Omnisaya to make sure that the machine ah! computer would work well. And so the Omnisaya answered, and I just said 1000001000001. So, uh, guys, I don't mean to interrupt, but I remember last Friday's show. Last Friday's show, we were all three of us here, and we were talking about this situation, yep. immigrants coming here in Chicago. And I said, I hope I'm wrong. But I have a feeling that Lightfoot's administration would be doing something sneaky, something devious. I wouldn't know what it was, to be very clear. I don't think any of us knew 
that this is something that our mayor would do. But how fucking stupid she would be. I, but I had the audacity to hope that maybe I don't know these immigrants coming here to Chicago. I didn't. Uh, you know, they, 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 would, they would have something for them here in the city. They'd be taken care of. But oh no, what did life would do? She did something sneaky. So in other words, I I hope someone's pick. Hey, Jerry, Edward, you hear that? You hear that ringing? That sounds like a, a call hammer. I, I hope someone picks up that phone because I freaking called it. I called it. <laughs> I knew that something like this would happen because this is Lightfoot we're talking about. Mayor Lightfoot, a dictator. That is perfectly spot on, Jerry. You called it, Kit. You son of a bitch. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> Let's watch the rest of the video to see just how 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 badly uh, she bungled the optics on this one and, and the reasons behind her decision. Yep. Mitch, good morning. As buses of migrants continue to make their way to Chicago from Texas and to other sanctuary cities, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot is calling out Texas Governor Greg Abbott for calling and treating migrants not as people, she says, but as things to be shipped. My frustration. Um, but she did. Pot, meat, kettle. Pot, meat, kettle. And may I also add in my commentary. What a fucking bitch. Am I right? <laughs> Let's continue. I beg your pardon. What did you say? Oh, coordination and cooperation. But he chooses to do none of those things and instead tries to. And send human level of cooperation and communication. She did exactly the same thing to the mayor of Burr Ridge with these people that she just shipped on buses like they were freight. Human beings, and, not cargo, not cargo, cargo, but human beings across the country to an uncertain destination. Did you even tell these people they're going to Burr Ridge? For Governor Abbott and other Republican lawmakers, Mayor Lightfoot now coming under fire for allegedly relocating dozens of migrants from Chicago to hotels in nearby suburbs. One of the stops included a Hampton Inn in Burr Ridge, about 20 miles from the city's downtown. That, What's that's more, fine. I like Hampton Inns. Inns. They're pretty local nice. Local officials, a heads up. First, Burr Ridge That's Mayor Gary Grasso says he's frustrated that Mayor Lightfoot is now following in the footsteps of Texas governor. I will tell you, I'm still upset uh, that I still don't know who's making okay. the decisions here. In a smaller uh, way, I'm in the same position that she was put in. He says in the WGN News article, uh, we want to know why Burr Ridge? Uh, well, he's a Republican. All right, so he's talk. probably politicizing it also, but the what lack of communication that? there is what's what's rightfully at so issue. My question is, did she not call him because he's a Republican? Oh, she, the plot thickens, have, maybe. Is she, is she averse to reaching across the aisle, so to speak, to coordinate with people in other cities? I wonder if it was kind of an underhanded political law uh, passing of the political it's, football, but it blew. I'm sorry. This was a political hand grenade. And really what it did is it blew up in her face, not his. Uh, one more thing. Yeah, sorry. Um, look, it's a blast from the past. It's from July 9th of 2018. But when we're done playing this video, I would like to share something that Heartland's media reported about the Gary Chicago International Airport. It's in our private chat. I'd be more than happy to share it. with our viewers because you, everyone needs to see this. All right. So right after we play, okay. this is going to play. All right. Got it cued. Stand by. While Chicago and encompassing Cook County are considered migrant sanctuary cities and have passed laws meant to protect immigrants from deportation, the portion of Burr Ridge where many of the migrants are now staying is actually in a different county. Now, it's unknown who is actually footing the bill for the migrants' accommodations or exactly how much the hotel rooms cost. However, rooms here... Who wants to bet they know where that money's coming from? I wonder where the, if there's any leftover COVID funds that they can't put to reopening mental health clinics or, uh, or uh, providing some other kind of investment infrastructure here in our South 
and west and north side neighborhoods. In Burr Ridge, can go from anywhere from $159 a night to $189 a night. We are expecting to hear... How many fucking empty buildings do we have in the city that could be converted or that should be converted? Do you remember how fucking fast she and Pritzker got... Um, McCormick place set up for all of the bodies that, and, that were going to come in for COVID. Remember yeah, how we went together? I remember that. Right? God almighty. Oh, yeah. well, if if it's a, they've got McCormick place, they've got the east the east complex of McCormick place that I don't think is used. It's the, the black beam building. Yeah. Now, granted, they set up the emergency uh, s center in the, the more modern McCormick place, but you're going to tell me that you can't if you can do that, you can't figure out how to keep migrants in the city or figure out a more affordable way that you can keep them here long term because they're going to be at these hotels out in Burr Ridge indefinitely paying what it, th those hotel rates are. That's going to be billed nightly, weekly, monthly, yearly until they figure out how they're going to help these people. And Jerry, it's going to be on our Jerry, dime. Jerry, well, Jerry, you know, we could, no, we, we no, could no, divert no. that from the police budget. None of that's going to happen, guys. Here's the thing, and I hope I'm wrong. And I want you two to say, hey, Kit, man, that's so exaggerated. I hope you're wrong. And you know what? We're going to call you out. So here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen to all those people in those hotels right now. Slowly but surely, all of them will be reported back. There will be also accusations of potential crimes taking place. Yep. That will cause said people. By this Republican mayor, I'm sure. It's easy to vilify Republican mayor. And you would expect them to do that, but it would be more. There'll be more players being involved in it because yeah, Illinois also borders Indiana, yeah. and in Indiana is the Gary Chicago International Airport. I hope I'm wrong. I don't think they're going to be there indefinite. It's going to be piecemeal, but all of those people who are in that hotel will be deported back. That's Gene, going to happen. Gene makes a good point. Another possibility is this yeah. guy, the mayor, is he lying or exaggerating? And he was told, but said, wait, wait. I don't know. I mean, I think Lightfoot's yeah. office would come out and be able to, like, say if if he was. They haven't. If that was the case. Yeah. yeah. And look, 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 here's, here's the thing. Definitely come up. You know, yeah. this guy was definitely contacted by my office. And we, we had a long 12-hour discussion. Yes, 12. I just made up 12. I don't know I, why I said 12. Edward, Edward, look. No matter who it is, be it Democrat or Republican, be it a Democratic mayor or Republican mayor, it doesn't matter. All politicians, part of the two-party system, are scumbags. But here's the thing. There is a very good chance that this Republican mayor is telling the truth. And I'm not going to bat for him, right? I'm not. But he could very well be telling the truth. Like, hey, no one informed me that this was going to happen. And this isn't yeah. the first time a Chicago mayor was able to get their way and their muscle into other people's backyards. We've seen this before with other Chicago mayors. Most notably, old man Daly himself, who would do so much. Again, there's a book that I recommend everyone to read called American Pharaoh. You'll find out how powerful old man Daly was in the city of Chicago. He's the one that made that office what it is. So every other mayor that succeeded after him had that same kind of power too. All those people at that hotel will be displaced. And of course, look, this Republican mayor may want them out because, again, no one told him if that's the case. A lot of these people, their lives are going to be turned upside down, and innocent families are going to suffer because of the inaction and the incompetence of a lot of our politicians, not only at the federal level, but now here at the local level. Yeah, they're, they're pawns for these politicians. Abbott used them as pawns to begin with to, you know, to, to get the, the dirty, unwashed masses of migrants that came across the border to Texas and say, you know, we don't want them. If you're a sanctuary city, you take them. They, we don't want them to be our problem, which is just like racist to begin with. And then you've got Lightfoot here, what, not communicating with uh, the mayor in Burr Ridge or, 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 or giving any kind of explanation or more um, more understanding of why this was done without it looking utterly ridiculous. She's doing the same thing that he is. Let me go back to the video here. From Senator Dick Durbin later today, who says that he too wants to speak with different city municipalities about the migrant situation. Adrian. All right. Thank you, Nick. And we've got to get to the southern border now. Where Thank you for. All right. So that was the rest of that particular report. Uh, what do we see? What's happening in live chat? So Kathy shared that right now it's for 
30 days. And I'm wondering, Kathy, are you referencing the amount of time that they're keeping them in Burr Ridge? I don't know what this 30 days is referencing. Gene asks, I don't think these immigrants will commit crimes. Usually they don't do anything wrong because they're so afraid of just being sent back. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So let's go to the video that uh, Kit was referencing um, that I haven't looked at yet. So I don't have a point of reference here, Kit, but I'll play it. Oh, and you I, can guide us through it. Yeah, I will. Uh, you want to preface it before I run it? Yes. Yeah, so when uh, so when I mentioned like a lot of those people in the, at a hotel will probably be uh, arrested and sent back. Most anyone that's anyone that's in Illinois, uh, an illegal immigrant in Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Wisconsin, Kentucky, they'll be sent to the Gary Chicago International Airport. Now again, things could have changed, but this is something oh, we on in 2018. Okay. This is just a short compilation of interviews that we covered when we were doing field reporting for Hard Lens Media. Let's play it. Which we hope to do again soon for Chicago Corners. We are uh, Absolutely. wrapping things up into the next year. All right, let me uh, bring this up and then we'll play it. Good on you, kid. This is I didn't I've never seen this uh, video. It looks like it's going to be good. We have seen the buses. We have seen the human beings shackled and forced onto the planes. Mothers and fathers separated from their children. The city of Gary claims they have nothing to do with these deportations. Yet they have protected ICE with large numbers of Gary SWAT officers, sheriff's deputies, and state police and have forced demonstrators into a gated parking lot surrounded by armed police. The Gary Jet Center has built three new buildings with hangars and is about to open a customs building. Up until now, O'Hare has handled international deportations, but it seems that Gary is doubling down on working with ICE to separate families with racist deportations. We need to do something. We need to fight. We need to fight. We need to stop this deportation, this you know, criminalization of immigrants in this country. Every day is something on the news that just makes me so angry. And we need to stop yeah. this. And it's going to get worse, my friends. It's going to get worse before it gets better. So we need to hold the line. We are the last line of defense. This fight is a long-term fight, and we all have to be in it together. Everyone with this. It's not a Democratic fight or a Republican fight. It's a moral issue. It's a moral fight. Remember, the uh, previous president, Barack Obama, was dubbed the deporter in chief. So it's not a it's not a right wing. It's not a left wing. It's a human fight. It's a fight for humanity. It's been going on for years, probably. Right since before, you know, uh, Donald Trump became president, um, but it's become a much larger operation since being in charge. Right, it's like the numbers of deportees getting out of this uh, airport has increased probably double, double, threefold. And this airport deports for all of Indiana, all of Illinois, all of Wisconsin, and Kentucky here. Usually there's a couple of, of buses, two or three. Um, it's really sad when you see it because it's all blocked out. I mean, the windows are all blocked out and everything. They, of course, have police escorts. Um, then when they bring them to the planes, it's like they're shackled. And then the plane windows are blocked out, too. And it's, it's really, really sad. My sister was part of one of deported from Chicago Airport, actually. She was sent back. She was only here to visit for one week and she was sent back just because of the executive order that went into effect while she was on the plane we are here every friday right today was a much larger crowd and quite effective because we actually you know um we stopped the plane but not directly but they suspended the uh, uh the flight today we're gonna have to invade the politics and uh we're gonna have to also get our feet in the street and put our bodies on the line. Uh, and, and that's that's the main way that we're gonna uh, be able to overcome this. Uh, and, you know, in the in, in between elections, you know, elections matter, uh, but the fact is that we need to invade those ele elections, not just uh, pick the lesser of two evils. All right, that's the end of that video. It's outstanding, Kit. Thank you. Really well good. done. Really well yeah, done. That was uh, that was pre news mullet kit. Yes. Very, yes. There you go. Out there doing the good work. 
Thank you. Thank you, Edward. Uh, but yes, that was uh, just some of the stuff that we did cover uh, for the Gary Chicago International Airport. And I'm willing to bet that all those people in that hotel will visit said airport. And by the way, when we talked to, there's individual interviews and we also sp uh, spoke to people uh, off the record how, again, the immigrants are chained like like animals and have to crawl up the steps onto the air, airplane to be deported back to their home country. Now, the WGN News report uh, by Ben Bradley and, and Julianne Cruz goes on to say that uh, Democratic politicians, including Lightfoot Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle and Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker, have vowed to welcome the migrants and provide a full range of services to meet their immediate needs. Um, Chicago's so-called sanctuary city in Sos Cook County. Local officials have passed laws meant to protect immigrants from deportation. However, the portion of Burr Ridge where many of the migrants are staying, Kit, is actually in DuPage County. They're moving them to a county that so not uh, doesn't have the laws in place like Cook County. All right. So while campaigning for Congress, Grasso said he would work to secure the border and defund sanctuary cities. However, Grasso noted his village board had not taken a position on sanctuary cities. Grasso said he, what kind of a fucking play is this? She sends him into a county that she knows doesn't have the same protections as Cook County. Well, Jerry, it's like I said, look, the biggest open secret is yes, Chicago is a sanctuary city. Okay. Fine, yeah. But how often do the immigrants, illegal immigrants, or people who are seeking safety and sanctuary allowed to stay in the city of Chicago and Cook County? How long are they here for? Does anyone really care? And if a politician can move them, so be it. And that's what the Gary Chicago International Airport is all about. Right, right. Jerry, do me a favor. Whatever yeah. the other time, have just a small conversation with Daniel. And okay. he will tell you about his impression at the Gary oh, I don't doubt. I don't doubt any of this. Yeah, I mean, it'll be good. No, no, no. no. But he, he, hear me out. Because, again, this is just a buildup. Just so everyone understands this dirty secret. All right? When we were driving there in 2018 to this airport, I was talking to Daniel about the Gary Chicago International Airport because there's the Gary in, you know, Gary um, Air, Air and Water Show. And he, when we were getting close to the area, he's like, wait, what are you talking about? I see no airport. It's almost hidden out there in the open. And then when you get there, you realize it's such a big secret. This is where Chicago sends all of its problems away. This is where it sends people where no one's going to ask questions. It's right there under our noses. So you could so you could make the, the argument that knowing DuPage County doesn't have the these protections in place and knowing that Mayor Grasso was a Republican who openly campaigned on uh, defunding sanctuary cities and securing the border, Lightfoot basically just pandered to the public she was going to do something and basically put them back in harm's way. You could make that argument, yes? Yes. And on top of that, if I'm wrong, hey, you guys can call me out and say, oh, kid, you over-exaggerating. And you know what? I'll apologize. I don't I think you're wrong. Kid. We know I what Mayor Light we, we know. We know what you look. When it comes to Mayor Lightfoot. What a fucking bitch. Am I right? <laughs> I just can't I get beg your that pardon, clip. What did you say? Get out of here. Be gone. Beetlejuice. 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 That doesn't work on me. I've got worm insurance. <laughs> hey, Lightfoot. You've seen the movie. You know what I mean. All right. Lightfoot. 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 Your ass is showing. Go away. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Um, actually, uh, I was just, I just came on to say that, look, it was, it's a completely logical set of reasons why I shipped the migrants to Burr Ridge. And it really has to do with the fact that since they're in DuPage County now, that, that bitch Preckwinkle can't do a goddamn thing about it. Gotta go. <laughs> You know, this isn't a story that's really, I don't know, what's the, this is not a story that is, is uh, one to make light of, but I mean, we, we need to be crying 
if we weren't laughing about the absurdity of what's going on here. But, you know, it, it's yeah. just more evidence of why this bitch has got to go. And I'm not being a misogynist using the word bitch. I, I use the word bitch when I've talked about Mayor Rahm Emanuel in the past also. It's not a gender-based slur as far as I'm concerned. Uh, what do our viewers in the live chat think? Uh, yeah, uh, Facebook user? Yeah, <laughs> Christ, what a mayor. <laughs> Gene shares, I find how these people, immigrants, are being treated very sad and depressing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, why don't we put him at the Drake? Why, why didn't Lori Lightfoot uh, take him down to the Drake downtown? Show them how much you really care about them and, and take care of them well, Lori. Or put them in the W. Is W still there, isn't it? Maybe it isn't. The hotel yes. There. Bad cookies, thank you for making my point for me. Yes, bitch has no sex if used as a derogatory term. Men can be bitches too. And I think I used that drop in where we're talking about Darren Bailey not too long ago. Yeah, Bad cookies. Be, be a good cookie. There you go. 